So your room temperature sample module sets here, or whatever sample module you're using to actually do the measurement. There are, of course, optional sample modules available on the system, and there are positions here on the side in the back here for storing those systems when they're not in use. Here, in fact, is, is an oven that's being stored over here because we're not using it. Behind the sample module here is where you would store a closed cycle refrigerator. Uh, if, if you had that option, it would set here. And over here might be the liquid nitrogen doer for, for liquid nitrogen measurements. Okay, for any hall measurements, you obviously need a magnet, and that's what this is. Uh -huh. these, these coils generate the magnetic field, and you have an iron yoke to, to uh, enhance the field. So, so you have uh, uh, fields up to about 1.7 tesla at the smallest gap. Right now, this system is actually setting at a wider gap than what you normally would use for this sample module, but it makes it a little easier to see here for this discussion. So we're just going to use, use this. The, the, uh, the gap is easily set by using the, these two pieces on the end, and they, you unloosen the screws, and they rotate, and you slide them in. It gives excellent reproducibility of the gap and reproducibility of the field and the field uniformity, so you can take the sample in and out uh, and, and always get back to the same field. Uh, the, the magnet is, is of course, water-cooled, so there's water coming into the back of this to cool it. So the um, magnet needs a power supply to generate the magnetic field, and that's what this box here is. It's the Lakeshore Model 643 power supply. It's a uh, totally analog power supply, bipolar, it produces both plus and minus fields, and it, uh, the power supply is a 70-amp 35 volt uh, power supply, about two and a half kilowatts, uh, totally computer controlled, uh, and is uh, used uh, with a water cooling in that so the water comes in the back. <clears throat> the uh, water flow has a flow switch on it, so if, if the water stops flowing for some reason, the system will shut down. And there's also temperature sensors on both the power supply and the magnet, so even if the water is flowing, but the Temperature gets too high, it will also shut the system down for protection.